Today's video, we pick up where Kevin from Junkyard Digs left off with the 96 Dodge van that had been sitting for 20 years, and we drove a thousand miles to Phoenix, Arizona from Demolition Ranch's new resort. Now, if you haven't watched that one, go check it out now, but if you have, then let's get started on swapping the 360 out of this Dodge van into a disabled veteran's 56 DeSoto and try to spread a little good in the world. Welcome back everybody to Pole Barn Garage where you have just seen Kevin and I drive this from Bernie, Texas all the way to Phoenix to pull the engine out of it and swap it into a disabled veteran, Tony, good friend of mine now, into his 56 DeSoto. Let's get started on dissecting the van. It's kind of like putting the family dog down. I'm it's, not happy about it. I think it's more than a dog. It's like a rhinoceros. No, I'm... <laughs> but this is Tony. Hello. Howdy. And this is your DeSoto. A 1956 DeSoto Fire Dome. That's a Hemi, right? Originally. It was a 330 Hemi, which unfortunately sat for 20 or 30 years with water in the engine. And the cylinders were destroyed beyond repair. So you so need an engine. I need an engine. And you reached out to Kevin and I. I brought you a van. That's we, what you did. We, yeah. we brought this. So <laughs> but uh, you were in the Air Force, right? I was. Uh, and uh, you were a communications guy there? Or? Uh, technically a satellite communications specialist. Okay. Which made me a really glorified radio repair guy. <laughs> so, you know. Right on. Yeah, it's some health problems. You're working through it, you, you know, things yeah, are working up. I just up. had a knee replacement and uh, I've had a liver transplant and... Uh, so what you need is a couple of young guys to come do the heavy lifting for you and get a motor staff in this thing. Absolutely. That's yeah, what we're I, here for. I gotta tell you, how much I appreciate it, and I, I just feel really blessed to have you guys here. I want to say, yeah, we haven't started. Yeah, we could ruin the whole thing. It might burn <laughs> the whole house down. Yeah. I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Look at these guys. I <laughs> watched you both work, and, uh, well, to be honest, Dalton, when I watch you work, it's kind of like watching me work. That's so, terrifying. I, yeah. <laughs> he is well, thankful. He already knows how it's going to end. Well, step one is remove the Dodge. Oh, van. It's bared to the world now. Actually, that survived entirely. Garbage. Metric. Garbage. For added benefit, Dalton, we get to do this in front of a real estate agent actively trying to sell a house. <laughs> it's for tearing apart the van. I'm gonna go set this against the wall. <laughs> he just throw it out by the curb. Breaking things. Hey, those are good horns. What? Ever taken an engine out of a van? No. Me either. One last thing before we take the battery out. Transferring the remaining life from the van to the jig. To the jig. And then we can return that fuel pump. <laughs> it's defective. Okay. It's just full of just nastiness. Oh god. That's coolant? That's cool. Black. It's like oil. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sure that's fine. The van didn't care. No, the van was fine, so. That looks accessible now. Now we can start. A lot of good times in here over the last 48 hours. Unplugging injector roonies, disabling mouse nest. How goes it? It goes. It goes. Actually it goes really well. Yeah, everything's going smooth, but yeah. it is the van. And it's no, it's not rusty. No, this thing's so good. Don't look at the underside, it'll make you not want to cut it into oh. pieces. People are getting so mad with Kevin's oh, It's a van. Dude, it's an ugly van. <laughs> but it's a good van. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you pull that out and then die when it rolls over you. Okay. And, uh, I'll hop in the Jag and leave. So okay. see ya. Yeah, I've been working on ripping out wiring and getting rid of all the fuel injection nonsense that is completely unnecessary. I'm gonna pull this ginormous intake off of here that's made out of aluminum and probably weighs 7,000 pounds. It looks like I'll probably also have to take apart the accessories to get it off, so that's nice. That's Mopar engineering for sure. My mom's electric uh, meat knife had more power than this. <laughs> Okay, there's one. You broke Tony's sawzall. So I found the speed setting, right? 
Yeah. I was like, oh, it's in the water so slow. And I turned it up and it exploded. <laughs> like, that, shit, that second I hit the trigger, all the fan blades came out and it hit me in the arm. And now I'm just trying to finish what's left before we have to go buy a new one. And now it's... <laughs> now it's like 80 pieces. But... It's still working. She's only smoking a little. Ooh. You ruined it. it. See, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it went. It just blew up. I just tried to cut one thing. <laughs> I was gently cut. I didn't even get it finished. And it's on fire. Look at it. Well, I had to pull the alternator off of the thing. Uh, I think it's ready to pop off. But before I do, I'm going to suck up all this mouse crap and goat poop. That way it doesn't fall down in the engine. If I can avoid it. I'll use Tony's shop back here. Not perfect. Maybe we prevented a little collateral damage. Now, did I get all the bolts out? That's a different question entirely. Ah, I think so. All right. How the hell does it come out of there? Well, looks like I got to pop the dizzy out. Good thing about Mopars is they got that, you know, 50-50 chance dizzy. Oh, you got a new one, eh? Yeah, let's try this again. Oh yeah, she's got the beam. That's how that's supposed to go. <laughs> Well, you know, but it's got the power. It wants to go. <laughs> like the van. It's now dead. The poor van, no! Right about now, we've been struggling to remove the fan from the engine, which is held on with some mysterious force unknown to anybody. It takes 8,000 pounds fan. of force. <laughs> yeah, it actually pulls the van down the highway. <laughs> it's, it's a the, prop. Yeah, the, there is no, the, the drive shaft. <laughs> spins the motor to pull the, run the fan. Correct. We're going to take the big pliers to it and yeah. try to un apparently unscrew the fan from it. For the record, I think we could have bought a core motor 318 V-belt engine for what we spent at Walmart in Texas. <laughs> I, I don't know how this works. Do you, do you want safety wheels? A what? Glasses. Safety, safety glasses. Okay, well that's stronger than it was. Never mind. I can't even, I can't even take my anger out here. Yeah, have fun. Enjoy. We brought reinforcements. Yes, yeah, so we had to bring in the big guns. Still didn't do anything. Strongest Mopar component ever constructed. <laughs> it's because it's on this way. Oh, oh. Also, there's the viscous oil inside. If you ever wonder how they work. Highly cancerous. <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> it's still running. Yeah. Brandon, you're most famously known from the Gambler 500 community. The guy with the uh, vet clone of that. Correct? Correct. Poor vet. May she rest in peace. Is that car still around? Or is that no. Die? Jumped it down hood again, broke it in half. She's about out. Actually, she, it is broke free. God, this is great. Precisely. Hey, you brought beer too. This is like big YouTuber stuff, Dalton. We contracted it out. I don't know what that means. My turn. Got a helmet 
show to follow. Ah. I know. Oh, nice. ah. Let's see how you use finesse. Sorry. <laughs> hey, get your hands <laughs> off of me. <laughs> well, looks good. All right. All right. Yeah. I wonder if there's another bolt too. Nah, just press the push harder. Well, I meant to do that actually. On account, I'm trying to be educational. Always look for the bolt you missed. Come on now. Come on, push! Why don't you just pick it up from the back? Ow! <laughs> what is it so? It's, it's the carb stud. You could have, if you went inside the van, you could have just picked it straight up. <laughs> Take ready to come off? Yeah. First time I'm doing this. <laughs> ah. Nice. Hey, that worked pretty good. Is it clean inside? It's a roll. No. Oh, that's nice and clean for a Mopar. We're trying to pull motor mounts. Kevin's going for the back motor mount. Of course, it's a Mopar, so it has three impossible to get to bolts instead of just one like everybody else. Once again, I've delegated my work to others. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, dude. Putting the van up on jacks was the key to pulling it out the front. I could probably get a pry bar into this one and pop it out. That's going to be a pry bar on the other one, I think. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this out. Ooh. Oh. you want to keep the trans fluid? It's like brand new. Did you ask if I want to keep the trans fluid? Yeah, it looks great. No. It's a thousand ports. <laughs> Put in the jack. She's not budging. Just so everyone knows, it's still sitting on the cross member. So when it comes forward, it's going to drop because the trans is like six foot lengths. It literally stops here. So so we can go quite a ways? Yeah, you got, you got just a foot and a half before it falls off. But then it's going to As long as we get it in front of the motor mounts right now, yeah. which somehow the driver's side motor mount just fell off. Did you take the nut yeah, off of it? Off. Oh, the bottom starter. Part. Yeah, because the oh. starter wouldn't have made it past. Yeah. But I can, ooh, Billy is, I can push the whole thing forward from back here. Pretty solid or something. We're hitting that, and then we're hitting up here on the floorboard. Oh, you found a use for those. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan, but... Good pillow. Yeah, well, they work pretty good. Hip rest. Oh, shit. Nice. What the hell? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we're on the rear, we're on the sub now. Let's go back a little. One, two, three. three. One, man. Uh, Coming up. We're on firewall, too. We are on firewall. We're pinched. All right, so come down. Can you come down? Good to roll. Yeah. Okay, come down. Let's put the chain backwards. Oh, that, that, you good? Kevin? Yeah, man. All right. I'll make you sure you're a good dude. God. I thought Brandon died. No, because he goes, you're to good, quiet. and then there's just nothing. <laughs> like, oh, Kevin's <laughs> dead. Are you good? I thought it was second. I thought it was fun. Well, I drank my pillow. Yeah. My neck hurts. Oh, do you need a new pillow? I would love a new pillow. I'll take it over those, actually. They're not bad. No, okay. We'll reposition the chain a little bit, and... That's right. Actually, I don't even. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, oh holy! What did you do? Still on. That's so sketchy. Oh, it's fine. My God. Oh, you're dumping up front. Oh, she's coming. One, two, three. Oh, that's a shit. Okay, oh. a little higher. Hey, hello. Oh, hello. oh, oh my God. My wife, but not so nice in here. Going to die. <laughs> but I am very tired. <laughs> Been on the road for a week. Oh, should we put a jack under the? I need the pan under it. Just for once, we had candy. If we keep it kind of level with the jack. Well, if, the way to keep it level would be put it all the way back up there. I don't think we can. Two, three. Hey, it, it turned out to be okay. It hasn't now. happened yet, but it will turn out like this. I feel like a pity. Yeah, you're on the oil pan, I think. I'll let her drain for a second. Let her drain. Blah, 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 blah. Put the pan Either under it, you mouth. Soul. No, that's for the trans fluid. See? 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 See what happens? There's something I would hear about it. Catch it all in the pan. 
every time. I prove them wrong. Oh, oh. It's on the output shaft now. Mm. Give her a sec, give her a sec right there. Yeah, let her puke. She's puking nice now. Alright. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Keep her going. Well, we gotta come up on the jack. Oh, oh, my oh, man. Oh. That is fast. Yes, sir. Yes. It's like pull an engine night. All your friends gonna come out of the woodwork. Oh, yeah. The neighbors Let's string go. together. Come on up. It's pretty neat. The camaraderie. It is we awesome. really appreciate the help. Everybody yeah. coming out to okay. help Tony. Okay, we're coming up. Yep. Hell yeah. Man. Yep. Don't hey. cash them too early. That's it. Man has birthed its engine. Yeah. There you go. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. About the power again. We just ruined the whole driveway. We spent an extra hour not getting anything on it. Left the trail all the way here. God. We've officially put down old Yeller. Old oh, Yeller. Old immortal. <laughs> that man would have outlasted humanity itself. But now maybe this DeSoto will. And that's worth something. Absolutely. So tomorrow. We're going to clean this up. We're going to paint the motor on this. We're going to paint the engine bay in here for Tony to get that done for him. Because the odds are we're probably not going to make this thing dry in two days. But the minimum we could do is at least do a good quality job on the install. Hello, Kevin. All right. I don't really feel like doing it. What? I'm kind of tired. I think I caught the bone with him all the last night. So, uh... Oh, wait! The unpaid help! Amazing! All right, get to work. All right, I think we're ready to start cleaning this grease pit up, which isn't really a grease pit, it's actually really nice. Low Excellent. mileage out of that van. Probably the cleanest engine I've ever pulled out of Yeah, it's going to be a good one. But we'll clean it up, paint it nonetheless before we install it, as is the full barn way. <laughs> as long as it looks good, it is good. Well, I it's just going to look fantastic. Well, I bet that cleans up like new in about 10 seconds. rebuilding the entire chassis, steering assembly, and suspension, then we go ahead and install the bulb. Actually, we'll go ahead and rebuild the entire engine, then we'll install it. Did you forget that there's 800 bell housing bolts on a Chrysler? Oh, okay. Wow. He's working for free today. You're on notice. Now it's time for the divorce. Wiggle and shake. That is right, Mark. Hey, uh, <clears throat> now I'm fired. Did you get the hidden bolt? Which one now? There's a, one that comes in from the other side right here. Huzzah! Oh, it's the one you have to take the oil filter off. Yes, for, isn't it? because it's a Mopar. Ha 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 ha! Can we put a, a Chevy in this or a Ford? We shall gut the Jag. Snowmobile engine. A lawnmower. Briggs? Briggs and Stratton. Good work, man. Over here. You get the other hidden bolt out? Is there, no, is you didn't. There, seriously there is another, another hidden bolt. Jesus Christ. Kevin, Christ. this is oh, a bow part. Yeah. I took eight out. I thought that was enough. They yeah. have a gazillion. Goodbye, input chef. Right. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here all day. Now we have to remove the torque converter, which looks different than any other torque converter because it has this weird reluctant wheel thing on it. And because Mopar, let's put the ring gear on the torque converter. Because why? Let's be different. <laughs> 
All right, so if you knock the freeze plugs out, of which we need all of them because, you know, it's made out of, like, I mean, not even Budweiser cans, like Dr. Thunder cans. <laughs> you just grab it on the edge with a screwdriver. Now you want to roll it, cock it, and then you pull it out sideways with a pair of pliers. Maybe a chisel will work better. Oh my god. Oh, don't let that splash on you. Yeah, fuck. It's all over me. Run, Dalton. <laughs> what the hell is in that thing? Uh, K-Seal. <laughs> Thank god. The only thing that got us here. Oh, it stinks. Why does it smell burn? <laughs> How do you burn water? Oh, whoa, the chunks. Oh my god. Oh, look, it's the K-Seal. <laughs> No, that's not. That is lots of something. That's rust. No, that ain't rust. I don't think. I think that's stop leak. Oh, a yeah. lot of stop Someone leak. Someone else put stop leak yes. in here 17 years ago. Oh my that's god. That's 17 year old stop leak at 1200 miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. is, we got a hose so we can flush the block out. Good news is we got him a great engine. <laughs> Pop in our new freeze plugs here before you put them in. Let's put a little bit of RTV around the edge of them. So they'll seal. That'll take up any pitting in the block or anything like that. Kind of load them on a socket. Boom. It's that easy. Huh. Well, I'll just sit in here and pretend I'm a hemi and spray bomb the hell out of all of this. It's gonna get whatever you can see, things that are supposed to be black, which is not the fender aprons, those are supposed to be body color. I'm kind of with Tony on, I think it looks better black. Whew, I'm gonna get an eye in here, good lord. But you know, it does need a new frame, so. And I'm gonna try to keep the paint off the grill and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll use my mobile masking equipment, this piece of cardboard, which should, Help us keep the paint off what we don't want. It's looking pretty good, man. <laughs> yeah. I can see smells. How goes it, Master Kevin? I have made the big blue, TM. Wow. It's blue. It's blue. Looks like new on camera. Basically, actually rebuilt, so. Yep. Well, I mean, it's out of the van, so <laughs> it rebuilt itself. This is done. Looks fairly nice in here now. Let that dry, it will be ready to hook the transmission to that. Stamp it. You got the cover off because to run V belt and accessories on a Magnum, you have to change the cover. Let me clean it up the gasket mating surfaces. Here's our genuine Chinese cover. Look, it has the mark of quality. China. 442. Four barrel, four speed dual exhaust. I mean, this thing's going to rip. I need a 2 by 4 Where's the one from the jig? Oh, yeah. The jig. It's on the jack. That's still broken. You're going to see that next week. You know, guys, look at the jig. See it? Yeah. It's the jig. So we got a couple little differences here. And, uh, Biggest one being that the Magnum motor uses a one-piece oil pan gasket, I think, probably, allegedly. So, how will that cooperate with this? I have no idea. Let's find out. Wow, wow. it looks decent. I take this and watch this gap all the way around to see if we're centered. Hit it really hard. You just remanded it like O'Reilly. Yeah, Packer's brand new. It's an Ultima now. 
<laughs> well, that's a best test. Well, goodbye, van. Goodbye, the van, TM. Oh my god. Fine. They do this all the time. Uh huh. Professionals. It's clear that they are certainly something. Oh my Hitch. It's just the hitch. Just the hey, hitch. Well, I don't, might not want to scrub Yeah, once you get over that hump, it's a lift. All right, well, let's take the wheels off the van. <laughs> we, we full salvaged them. Yes. I don't know how you're going to jack it up. Good luck. I don't know either. In my chrome wheels. What the hell? She did it. She did good. Oh, Phoenix are bust. Oh. And it didn't bust. I never even tried. Oh, oh still high. Pull this way, pull this way, pull this way. Pull this way. Oh, it's beautiful. So, in typical tradition, the Mopar parts hit other Mopar parts. So, to fix that, we're using the only tool we have with us and playing the aggressive rain making machine noise thing. Scraping the timing marks down to fit the harmonic balancer. As is tradition. Yeah. Looks like it's installed to me. Yep. Where we were missing Bro. a bolt for the timing cover. So we used a bolt out of the harmonic balancer fuller. <laughs> this bolt here has a flanged head and it makes it stick out like a sixteenth of an inch. <laughs> yeah. Which is too much for the Mopar to handle. But not enough for the scraper to handle. So we use the carbide scraper to cut a notch in it. This has been the tool this week. This is how the pioneers did it. Oh, you fat bastard! Uh, Eight bolts. Uh, God knows where those are. I probably put them all the time. Oh my goodness. Someone get beers. Oh. 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 Do I look? Do I look refreshed? Oh, keep going. Hang on. Oh, it's not focusing. Hold on. Keep going. Oh, I missed it. You gotta do it again. Shut up. <laughs> that was the move. I told you this. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's right. We're transmission. Now that is AC. Now that you're all wet, stay in oh. front of this. We well, should have been getting wet the whole time. No, my. I mean, Very right nice. nice. Once the trans on, it can sit on the ground and we can deal with that. We were so, on our way to doing that. A couple minutes. Ten bolts. It'll be on. No, Dom can't put the keys there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kevin, don't forget the oil. So this is what it's like working with full bar, full bar and garage, and, uh, oh, and the no. other guy just riding around <laughs> over there. Hey, come enjoy uh, working with us. We'll work with you. I'm doing all the work here, you know. <laughs> He's out there riding the jack around. <laughs> what? Oh, you need bulbs for the jack. Yeah, we need bulbs for the jack. <laughs> That out. So right now on screen, what's it, happening baby. is oh, we've had a bolt out. break off right about there. They brought in the master. And yes, the master clamper over here attempting to remove that. And it's going well, I believe. It's, uh, it's not under torque. It's moving. It's just broke from being pulled on and snapped off. Dude, here it comes. Look Same at the rhythm. Motion. Look at All the finesse. That wrist game is real. <laughs> <laughs> And victory, my friends, victory. <laughs> Drops it in the engine's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Once again on Pole Barn Garage, we're trying to understand the mysteries of the Chrysler Torque Converter bolt pattern. And I it's mean, difficult. I might have cheated. Okay, so it turns out that the when you use an LA torque converter on a Magnum, you have to elongate one of the holes. We didn't know that. So that's what we did. Yes. And now there's three bolts in it no, instead of four. four. It's five. Oh, there, yeah, there's definitely four. In it. I'm going to put this thing on. Okay. And then we'll put the starter on. Yep. And then we're going to try to loosely stab this in while we have help. Thanks, Brandon. Again. <laughs> so we're using an older 727. And there's a boss on the block. On the newer yeah. motor. The newer motor. No one else has this problem, just us. And it's a problem. See right here, that boss is very aggressively hitting the whole starter. So one of them's got to go, and I want to make it so if he can go down to O'Reilly's or something to buy a new starter someday, he can put it straight on. So the answer is the block has to go. Get the death wheel. Psh, psh, psh. 
Salt needs some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a beer. Buddy. I think you need a beer. Okay, boys. Good work. Glad I could be a. Jack, we go home. No. <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa. I know you are, little bitch. My granddad said something to me one time, and I think it'll bring inspiration to you guys. Or it'll get you demonetized. Say, so quit your whining, you stupid sack. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Wait, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Uh, don't put extra holes in your lift. I'd go up a little bit, you yeah. can get the grill. I'm good. You got room. I'm good. Surprisingly. I cannot believe this ram is still going. All right, <laughs> that's probably good. It. That's probably good. <laughs> Drop that tail down in there. Yes. Somebody's so. got to get on it and stand. <laughs> That'll definitely hold it. Been there, done it. Uh, was it with one of these? It's a little guy saying it's probably better than that one. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, shit. A little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. I had nothing to do with this. I accept no responsibility. What? Oh, I thought he was standing on the transmission. I, I thought you were serious and wanted Yes, yeah, I've done it before. No, no, no. What did I say about It'll delegation fucking work. and leadership? You know, I somebody killed. I it's also no responsibility. responsibility. The natural bend isn't helpful? Yeah. <laughs> That'll clear the pan. I'm trying to get that. Okay. It's right. so close. I'm down, down, nice. down. Dive, dive, Hold dive. Up. Hold up. Okay. We can ready torpedo one up from here. Nope, he's got his foot. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Got time to play. Hell yeah. He's got two legs. You don't need both of them. Got okay. to spare. Yeah. But if you lose your leg, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> the engine hoist is hitting the bumper already. Oh, hey, Matt, try it. We get a jack underneath with like a block of wood. Hold that up. Yeah. Pinch it against there. Now it's gonna rest on here. You got this has got rolls in it, so it's it? it's it's yeah it's. This is strong. It's not then you got to well, you got to support here. Oh, that's true. Sure. Well, you got this right here, and then you got this. So this is going to be strong. We put a rag under there. I'm with them. And then you I jack that up. Someone get the floor jack. Very smooth. No one, no one on the internet. Look, easy does it. Here, Tony. I hope you can see this. Oh my God! Don't vibrate the ether. Don't just drop that on here. Oh. Work it. Work it. Yeah. Good job. Nice hey. job. Now we have an extra hand. Okay. Nobody sneeze. All right. Bring it on. Uh, Slowly. <laughs> now the, well, prob the problem. problem is we are not supporting. We're not lifting the back of the trans at all. No, that's what I mean. Slowly, because we're now we're gonna kind of figure out what we're doing. That's that gonna want to draw. Whammo. We could lower the trans slowly as you jack that up. Or well, ideally we move. Trans backwards with it, but with the jacks backwards, and yeah, it's not going to be two by four. No. So I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to have a beer about it for the group's sake. <laughs> for the group's sake? Yeah, this is for everyone's nerves. Ratchet, wait, 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 ratchet wait. strap again. No, where's, here, that, where's that chair? There. With the wheel ratchet on. strap. Ingenuity occurred. This is going well. I've been swinging motors in from trees for my whole life. This ain't nothing. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec there. Uh, Dalton. If you push the whole entire jack my way about eight inches. I can sure try. Come on, tree man. There you go, that, that's good. George, George, right. George up the junk yard. <laughs> it is your I am six inches in front, I'm on the cross uh, member. Dalton, can you go up? Let's get our hand. There we go, more. here we go. Oh, we just hit the ratchet strap. On the frame, on the body. Uh, Matt, go down. Back there. I was like, oh. Hey, you thing. want your in every tool? Oh, yes. Um, my life independency. Can you okay. stick this in my hole? Yes, please. So my side's like pretty much in. I don't know about your side. Uh, the whole inch is crooked, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if we, we can. swing it in straight, it'll sit down in there. Well, that's, right. that's yeah. what I, I can kick the, the trans that way. That'll do it. Oh, you do it so good, though? It's going to bring your side. What's that, sir? It doesn't matter. You go in there, I'm bud. In, I'm in my pocket. We need, like, a two more inch. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now we got to bring the whole thing back. All right, drop it, Matt. Slam it home. No, nope. Ah. nope. There, I'm in. Fire. Hang on, not yet. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> yes! Success! Um, Let's go to bed. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Good work, Jets. There's an like engine in a DeSoto that was in a van like seven days ago. 
Actually, I was in a van yesterday. Well, that doesn't seem real. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the exhaust stubs? It's perfect. Holy shit. It really is, he doesn't need meters. Those things are good to go. No. It's, it, it, the starter has clearance. Tons of it. Yeah, Richard Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what a celebratory music. <laughs> little Frank Sinatra, guys. Thank you for your help very much. Yeah, no problem. Follow you, and if you ever need a favor, yeah. call. Thank so you for, guy. for the lift Thank and you. everything else. Thank you, Matt. Well, you completely missed. It was hard. No. God damn it. We almost Jesus. had it. Owns the one, was the best owns one. one Jaguar. You hey. might not. You might know. <laughs> Take it back out. Yeah. That's good. My fear. That, I don't know if you can see over there very well, but that thing went straight in. All right. Look at all the room you got. Six inches on everything. Let's see. Some, some shorty headers, not going to be a problem here. No, hell, you can do whatever you want. You want to. Yeah. <laughs> and the color. You nailed the color. It's now the next and last day for us to work on this before we got to get back. We have hardware to install the crossfitter. We have a coil wire. We have no intake. The intake got lost in shipping. It won't be here until tomorrow, maybe. It's supposed to be here today. So best we're going to be able to do is just install this thing and maybe be able to hit it with some brake clean and make it bark off and make sure that works. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish this, but we know we're leaving it in good hands. So let's finish what we can. Cross member in. Cross member's in. We know the trans mount, but it's sitting on it. We're going to test the van drive shaft for fit. There's a chance. It might fit. That's saving some money. I'm going to, I guess, just plop that intake back on and then with no gaskets and like three bolts to see if it'll run. I'm gonna install this generic Chinese distributor I got for $43 online. TM. TM. Here's the deal. It's a van drive shaft. The yoke is too big of an outer diameter to fit in the trans, but that's where that would be. Oh, it's literally the exact length. It lines up on the rubber to the wear mark on the <laughs> yoke. It's a direct replacement. It's a direct. Well, you got to get a combo U joint for that end and switch this to the other yoke for this trans that we brought along some other day. Yes. And then this is a direct replacement. <laughs> the van. Ah. Ah. That'll make it go for over once. The M1 that probably oh, thrown oh. in the trash. Oh. It's tight. You well, got her down. It is pointing somewhere. So the good thing with the Mopar is, is it's just a blade. So if you got it in backwards, you just flip it. All right, so we're just gonna have to strip these off, put some ring terminals on it, and then we're gonna try to use this canister type coil that you're not supposed to use with these. Do you know the order on going? Here's the 1, 8, 4, 3, 6, 5, 7, 2. How do they count count those, Which, what's their cylinder layout on a Dodge? Like a Chevy? Chevy's of GM. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. Sweet. These are even kind of. Uh, labeled. Like, supposedly that's eight. Yeah, but we need to know where number one is on our cap. It is on zero right now. What, did you look at where it was pointing? No. That one. Which ways are distributor rotate? I think counterclockwise, but maybe we should look that up first. Okay. Now it's one. Now it's either one or five, or whatever the, the 180 out is. Perfect. Yep. Away she goes. About wired for sound, maybe. About wired for sound. Well, uh, all we're gonna do is just jump a battery in it, spray some starting fluid in it, and see if it'll kick off. All right, we've got two bolts in the intake, mm -hmm. no gaskets. Yep. A roll of rags. The wrong coil, the wrong wire. Yep. And a battery. And a battery. And maybe the wrong timing. We'll see. That's the ground. <laughs> well, they're both red for convenience. <laughs> You forgot, I see. I forgot, yeah, I forgot how convenient we made it. <laughs> sounds backwards. I'm trying to, but it kind of sounds like it's trying, and I don't know if it's trying on the wrong one. Let's see, let's go. Advanced. Bazaar. Yeah. I think those are all the same plenum, but whatever. That's bad. That's backwards. All right. Pull it out. And two seconds later, you flip the distributor around. No one good thing. The only good thing about a whole car. Oh, yeah. Still a little off. Forward or back? Back. 
Try that. Oh, the ignition wire flew off. That was it, though. It was strong. It was <laughs> too, too strong. strong. The, the van. <laughs> Tremendous. Oh, but she yeah, runs. The van has done it again. <laughs> there it is. Coming out of the open exhaust manifolds. That's oh, yeah. uh That's burnout mode right that's, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope my wife's not on a conference call because it could be what the holy hell is that? <laughs> well, there you go, Tony. That is it made noise. Just epic. We left you a mostly you someone guys, sitting in their engine. Absolutely <laughs> rock. Kind of someone made some noise. I, uh, I don't have the words to thank you guys. It just, it's, you know, the other stuff's all it's, the intake, you know, the, uh, perhaps nothing. The literal heavy lifting is done. Yeah. Even the trans mount looks like it'll line up. Yep. The yeah, drive shaft from the van is a bolt in. Them, nice. You can drop a magnum with an amount of effort. But no actual custom work. <laughs> Just directly into so it. Is, uh, well, with that, I think that's going to do it for the DeSoto and Tony. And uh, I'm glad we could help you out. I wish we could have done more, but uh, I, I appreciate every single thing. Uh, it's more than I could have ever hoped for. Well, I think we left you with a couple of real good guys too that oh, yeah, might absolutely. be able to come and help you out too. So that I think that's going to work out. And then thanks, to Kevin, who's you know, organizing tools. And, uh, well, we only got 1,400 miles to go home now. So uh, keep an eye out for that video. For when I try to drive this Corvette 350 swapped 83 Jaguar XJS home. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Look for you next week. Later.